these are all my wigs. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Celeste. Welcome back, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you all again. I mean, it's been a while since I last showed my face. Um, sometime in the last couple of months or so. Anyways, I hope you all forgive me for that. Also, please ignore the do. It's kind of interesting. But that is because today I have a very special video planned. I say that about all my videos, but I'd like to think they're all special in some way. Today I'm going to be trying on my wigs for you guys. Yes, I have quite the collection and I've acquired a lot over the years, a lot of different wigs from all over the place. So today I am going to show those to you. It seems like I have a lot more than I thought. <laughs> so um, we're just going to get right into it and try to go through as quickly as possible. Perhaps I'll include some of my uglier first wigs that I've ever gotten in my life, maybe. I'll have to see where that takes me. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Ooh, we got little legs over here. Fun. So <laughs> I have no idea where to start. I've got a lot of wigs, as I just mentioned. How, how am I gonna do this? I didn't plan this very well. What do I plan well? I think I'll start with something that's older, but still really good. So just you wait. This lovely little lady was from FM Anime. By the way, you guys, I will do my best to link every wig that I've ever bought down below in the description box if you guys want to check these out on your own. They got this one is from a cosplay website called FM Anime. The great thing about this wig is that it is a twin tail wig. This looks like one ponytail, so l let me show you. So we've got our base wig, very beautiful, very full, as you can see by the tracks on the inside. Very nice dusty rose color. So we'll just pop this right on. <laughs> also for people who don't know, you should try your best to comb your wigs with a wide tooth comb or a very special type of brush. Don't use just any regular hairbrush or else you'll kind of ruin the fibers and we don't want ruined fibers, so. <laughs> okay, so this is the base wig of the twin tail wig. It's very cute, like just on its own. You know, you could style it, fluff it up some more if you really wanted to. This was one of my first serious wigs. Before <laughs> I got more into wigs and stuff, this one was like, this This is good. This is a good one. And now we have our twin tails. So we're just gonna plop these right on. One, two, oop. The thing about these twin tails is that the elastics for adjusting it kind of come off, but. Yeah! This one I never styled. It actually came like this from the website. Um, I never cut the bangs or anything, so that was kind of nice, you know, if you're not like super skilled at styling. I really love this one. It's super cute, very like girly and sweet. I love the color, honestly. Like if I were brave enough to dye my hair, this would probably be one of the colors I consider. I went to a Hatsune Miku concert like back in, I think it was like 2016, 2017 maybe, and I wanted to go with Sakura Miku. So I ended up making like these hair clips and I just kind of fished them through. <laughs> it ended up working out pretty well. That was at the time in my life where I did not have my Miku wig, but I do now, which will appear in this video very soon. So stick around. I kind of put these on stupidly, but this is the general concept of how they looked. <laughs> super cute, super fun. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next one I got from Amazon. This one was pretty cheap. I think it was like 18. Maybe t no, it was like 20, in the 20s range. Again, it's going to be in the link below. Again, a really good quality wig. This is not a review video, but I think it's still kind of helpful, you know, if you guys are interested in any of these wigs to see what it's all about. It's super thick. It's got like a nice imitation scalp to make it look more real. If you look here, it also has clips to kind of just grab onto your hair better so that it won't fall off in the wind or something. <laughs> so yeah, let's just try this one on. Okay, so here she is. I really love the color of this one. It looks really natural too. Like there's not really that fake shine that you know most plasticky wigs have. This one is super sweet and it's so soft. Like if you guys felt this, this is like super soft. It does shed quite a bit. Not like too much. Like, this is kind of average. I haven't worn this wig a lot, honestly. <laughs> so I don't really have like, a final verdict as to like whether it sheds too much or too little or you know whatever but anyway it's a really pretty wig just kind of even for daily wear if you're really that you know into this one also guys if you like any of these wigs on me 
please let me know which one it was. I would really love to know what you guys thought of these. So now for our next wig, I also got it off of Amazon. This was ordered together with that previous gray one. But yeah, it is super pretty. It is a split wig. Again, very good quality. Lots of tracks, very thick. This one I think fits smaller heads. I can still stuff my big O head in there. But that gray one actually was very spacious. So good for bigger heads. This one, um, let me just put it on and show you. <laughs> All right guys, so here she is. I really love this wig. I think it's super pretty. Some of the pink slips over to the other side if you put it, you know, all to the front, but that's fine. Once it's on, like all the way in the back, like you can align it pretty well. It splits very well. Now, this one's really pretty. Again, it doesn't have that super overly shiny look. Like this part looks like my hair when it's straightened. But yeah, again, this really like nice pink tone is like, super pretty. Kind of like a dusty rose. It's not like a bubblegummy pink or a light pastel pink, but I actually kind of like this one on. Also with this one, there are combs. I forgot to show that, but there are combs that can like attach to your head in order to prevent any slippage or just the wig falling off. So that's this wig. I really love her. It's super cute. Okay, next one. I mean, this one? Our next wig is from Uvini. It's a little company that I found a while ago. They also sell these pretty nice wigs, but honestly, I think I've seen a few of these on Amazon or even AliExpress, <laughs> but hey, I'm not judging, whatever. <laughs> it is again, pretty good quality, uh, lots of tracks. It also does have an imitation scalp right here. Wow, that is bright. <laughs> yeah, right there. Kind of creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. So this one is like a brownish to a blue gray to like an ash gray. And I really like the waves, they're really pretty. They move really nicely too. Okay, so if the bang, oh my God. If the bangs look a bit crispy, it's because I left my flat iron on it a little too long. So she's looking a little scraggly, but that's fine. We'll just, we'll find a way to make this work. Okay. So here is this one, very pretty yet again. Uh, I love the color, the shape, <laughs> it's a little strange. Kind of got some bumpiness here, but nothing crazy. If you were to wear a hat over it, it looks really cute. I just grabbed a random hat. Um, but see, like if you wear a hat with it, that looks pretty darn cute. Your head looks kind of giant, but in the best way, more knowledge. More knowledge. I, I think I still need to like trim these bangs or attempt to curl them because they kind of just lay flat against my forehead, which not super cute. <laughs> I also, I think one time attempted to curl them. It ended up turning out a little crispier than I hoped. <laughs> this is heat resistant, so it should have worked, but I guess I might've had my heat a little too high whatever. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is a really pretty wig. I do enjoy it. It's a lovely color. Again, great for daily wear if you're into this sort of thing. Ah, no! <laughs> okay, well, we'll just fish you right back, my dude. Haha, -ha, back to normal. <laughs> Alrighty then, on to the next one. Alright, so next we have Miss Ochako. I did do a full review on this Ochako wig and also Tsuyu Asui. So, if you guys want to check that out, it's up here somewhere. One of those sides. <laughs> this one is really pretty. I love the color, very nice reddish brown. Very accurate to the original character. Once again, super nice. I really pride myself in getting nice wigs with many tracks, as you can tell. Acknowledging those is important, at least to me anyway. But yeah, so let's pop this one on. All right, so here's Ochako. I do like this one a lot. When it first came in the mail, I got this from Amazon, by the way. <laughs> when it first came in the mail, it was a lot more like poofy. I think because of the way I stored it, it like got a little, <laughs> a little wonky. Nothing like a little bit of combing and fluffing up can't do, you know? Scruff it up some more. I did not shake it <laughs> before I put it on my head, so that's probably also contributing to its lack of roundness. But it is a great wig, very thick and lovely, super full, like, <sighs> this one is super cute. I love her so much. Next wig. I have a hint here, my friends. You have three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. It's Suyu Asui. <laughs> she is a lovely hunter green, beautiful green. Again, I did do a review on this one 
uh, along with the Ochako wig, so feel free to check that out in the cards. This one again, really thick, very nice, super pretty. So I'm gonna put this one on next. All right, here she is on. Ugh, <laughs> it's poking me eyes. Super, super pretty, I love it. She was quite long. Um, I did this cut myself. She does have a long piece, as we all know, in the front. But all in all, like, color-wise, length-wise, it's beautiful. It's super soft as well, and from what I can tell, it's not super tangly. Like, it doesn't get very tangled very easily. It is a long wig, so you must keep that in mind. Oh, you know what would be cute, actually? What if... <gasps> what if she was going to, like... A school dance and she wanted to be like extra cute <laughs> this is actually really silly but I can see her pulling something off like this like a fancy froppy you know what I mean <laughs> the way it jiggle <laughs> okay um on to the next wig <laughs> Whew, it's starting to get hot up here all these wigs <laughs> they're so hot also our air conditioner decided to die so there is a fan right here if you do hear excess noise my apologies I and just not going to be burning here alive to try some wigs on. <laughs> so I hope you understand. All right, this next one, I should honestly put it in my crusty wig pile. This was like one of my first wigs, again. Used to be about the same length as the Suyu Asui wig, but it got all tangled, and this was at the time in my life where I did not know how to take care of wigs. Therefore, chopping off the excess was the solution. <laughs> it's still kind of nice on the inside, like it was one of the better quality wigs. Oh. I, I take that back. I forgot that it was like a full net like this. These are just the worst type of wigs, guys. Like, don't even waste your money. All right, but anyways, let's try this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, these, <laughs> these bangs. I look like Dora or something. I don't know what I was thinking when I cut these bangs at the age of 12. The straight across, thicker than me bangs is, uh, it's a look. It's not the worst. I kind of look a cross between like Willy Wonka meets Kill Bill meets Dora. So. <laughs> oh, that's a whole lock of hair. <laughs> so this is like your typical party city wig. I did get this off of Amazon. Granted, the one thing I will say, the upside to this is that it's not like your typical shiny plastic wig again. You know, the more I look at it, the more I'm getting used to it, and it's like not the worst. These bangs, sis. Like the rest of the wig, fine, whatever. But <laughs> these bangs, they have layers. Uh, I just made it worse. We're gonna pretend this one didn't happen. All right, my friends, we are almost done, I promise you. Our next wig. The color is just beautiful, you guys. <sighs> very good, very good. If you guys haven't seen my most popular video, it's up here somewhere, so I encourage you guys to check it out. It was recorded on a toaster, basically, but, you know, we got the views! <laughs> okay, so this is the base wig. Ooh, I'm gonna say that's about right. <laughs> so this is how I keep them, just so that they don't get tangly and discombobulated. Alright, here's the Miku wig. She's a little tangly, but if you are kind to her, she'll be kind to you. This wig is honestly one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Recently I got someone in the comment section to ask me how I put these little hair clips in Miku's hair. So allow me to show you my friend. When they come they typically have these little like alligator clips. I unfortunately was dumb enough to break one of them and they fell off. It just fell off. But it's an easy fix except when I tried to fix it I almost glued my fingers together. So be careful kids. <laughs> Let me show you how I put them in without gator clip and with first we're gonna remove our lovely pigtail and we're gonna stick this clip around the center so this is like right under the fourth tooth <laughs> you're going to keep it right there you can adjust this however you like but this is how I insert it you just kind of slide it right in there and then boop. yeah this is how I do it it works for me you can adjust it, you can put it up higher if you like, lower if you like. I'm gonna do the same for the other side with the gator clip, is make sure that the, the bigger side is towards the back. The bigger side of the alligator clip. It works. It's pretty simple, it's a little uneven now because I kind of did it quickly, but with more time, it, it ends up looking pretty nice. So yeah, that is my Mika wig, you guys. So 
We're gonna take our teal princess and hang her back up. <laughs> All right, so we have reached the point of the video where we now go to our honorable mentions and you will see why I call them that in a second. But these are the, the wigs that are kind of like the crappy wigs, but I have them. And this wouldn't be a wig collection video if I didn't at least show you my stupid ones. These are gonna be the last few, but I hope you stay tuned to watch them. I think they'll be loads of fun. <laughs> This is not one wig, I promise. This is three different wigs. <laughs> when we were younger, my sisters and I, we all begged my mom to get us some wigs. For some reason, like why? <laughs> why wigs? I don't know. So we went to, what is it? The Chicago costume, costumes of Chicago. I don't know, it's, I'll put it here. <laughs> but we asked her, we're like, hey mom, could we get some wigs? And she was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Pick whichever ones you want. We chose the same bob the same style <laughs> but different colors um, i don't know why i find it so funny it's just so absurd think of all the lovely wig choices that were there nice curly wig beautiful long straight wigs with bangs we chose susan now here's the thing hear me out with this one it is well made wig don't get me wrong they do have imitation scalps the nice thing about this one is that you can kind of part it however you want whereas like you know the other imitation ones are just like a line of it this is kind of a whole circle of imitation scalp <laughs> but it's very full very well made for what it is but it's just like ugly it, you'll see give me a second <laughs> it's horrendous i look disgusting <laughs> I remember what it was for. I wanted to cosplay Raven from Teen Titans at the time. <laughs> and this was the best thing I could come up with. But that is this wig. It gives me very much, like I said, Susan vibes. This is Karen, who's maybe a little nicer to you. She's also going through like some midlife crisis. Therefore, that's why she dyed it purple. I'm just gonna try the other two on just for the heck of it, because why not? All right, before you guys say anything, I know, Coraline. There's maybe Coraline on like drugs. Don't do drugs, kids, stay in school. You know, if you style it just right, maybe you might achieve something decent. But there is no saving this wig, honestly, though. Um, chow. <laughs> Me, should I even say this? Okay, so at my old music school, <laughs> there was like this receptionist who always wore, you know, like these wigs. It was always blonde, though, and it just, it looked exactly like this. <laughs> it works for her, it doesn't work for me. This is Karen 2.0. This is the one that calls corporate. This is the Karen that calls corporate and thinks the world of herself for it. Let's take Karen 2.0 off and move on to something else. I don't know why I like this one better, but I do. Are you guys seeing this? This is Stephanie from Lazy Town. Why do I actually kind of like this? This is decent. The color is something you'd be able to spot from outer space. Yeah, it's giving me nice little fresh and fun stephanie vibes what's the song she used to sing at the end i'm gonna look back at this footage and like want to punch myself so be nice in the comment section i'll come for you with my wide tooth comb good times i think this was a great one to end on the the triplet journey there so we do have one more final final wig <laughs> and i promise you this disaster will be over why do I have two wigs, you ask? Well, I have a story. It's not long, so please stay tuned. This wig, I made. I made it myself. And I'm actually kind of proud of it. It came out way better than I thought it would. This red one, I will not be trying on for you, but it has some explaining to do in terms of why why the white wig. Just why the white wig. <laughs> These were my very first two Amazon wig purchases ever. In the history of ever. I remember I saw the wig on this model. Like, this is the model that's literally on every single one of the nice wigs that I've always wanted. And I wanted them to look like that, <laughs> but this is what came instead. Look at, <sighs> you get crap like this. A mesh cap, first of all. That just screams party city, guys. Just do better, be better. Horrendous. So anyways, this is what I got in red and white. Now, I kind of wanted to do a bouette or bouzette transformation. One day I, just cut this wig up in white. Imagine it's white still. <laughs> I cut it up to look like this, so now it is shoulder length, and I shall show you what it looks like now. This one is also quite thin at the top. Looks kind of like yellow snow, but that's fine. That's great. We love it. I hate when white wigs look like this on the inside. Like, just make a white net. That would make things so much better, don't you think? Okay, let's just try this on. You see what I mean, guys, huh? 
Huh? I don't know, I kind of dig this white on me, I'm not gonna lie. It's no longer thin in the back. Do you see any black hair, my friends? No. Okay, so I actually cut these pieces to do something really fun, just you wait. Okay, okay, that's, that's kind of what I was going for. And this was kind of an accident, I think. They kind of just started to flare out on their own. And they did this super cute, like, princessy kind of thing. It gives me Rosalina vibes. No, not Rosalina. Princess Peach kind of does this hairstyle. I love the style. I think it's super cute. Again, this was supposed to be for my Boozette cosplay eventually, which I never got around to doing, but hopefully will be able to in the future. <laughs> So that is all I have planned for you guys for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching again. I really hope you liked this video. It was a lot of fun to make, definitely. Good to dig up all the wigs that I have forgotten about, <laughs> including this one. But yeah, if there was a wig that you guys liked in particular, please comment it down below. I really want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Thanks again so, so much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, I love you. Mwah!